Isaiah chapter 32 verse 7 The instruments also of the chul are evil He deviseth wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words Even when the needy speaketh right I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad Alright, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson and uh, this is a report from uh, Dabu, and uh, which he did earlier today. And um, the title of it is Why Rolling Lockdowns Will Not End Until 2023. And the real reasons behind their const continuation. All right. So in this video, he gave a little insight of uh, why these can continue continue lockdowns which uh is not supposed to end until 2023 all right so i just want to play a little bit of the video you know and uh go from there this is dabu seven when it comes to these rolling lockdowns this has caused a lot of problems for people worldwide in their lives in many different ways a lot of people want to get back to what they would call normal life, but it doesn't look like things are heading that way. These rolling lockdowns look to continue at least into the year 2022, 2023. And to get to the bottom of all this, if you're saying, well, how is that? Well, it's obvious that this is a game plan being implemented and everything is tied into money. It's what gives the power to the elite, the control of that currency and hordes of it, which in turn makes them the wealthy, the wealthy elite that is controlling the poor of the world. And this is all about control at the end of the day, nothing more. And when we look at the money being held by them, there was $500 trillion with a T of institutionally held global interest rate derivative products, most of which were tied to U.S. and Euro interest rates, okay? During this whole time, the bankers only allowed $33 trillion of that to mature. Now, to make this clear, what happens here is in a rising interest rate environment, the nominal values of financial derivative bets that are placed upon these never-ending low interest rates they replace the market values of these contracts as real risks. They don't like risks. So in order for the risk to remain unrealistic, these interest rates must remain as low as possible indefinitely until the derivative contracts mature or expire. Now, the latter half of this equation simply has not happened yet. This is why the lockdowns will keep happening in some regions of the world or multiple regions of the world until at least 2023 if not longer, as the risk of motivating reason behind this continues to push. And as long as these have not expired, they make more money. For those of you that do not understand the markets and how this all works, for any of these contracts that they have that go out for these extended amounts of time, the longer they go, the more that they're worth. And if they don't devalue by the time that they expire, th there's big money to be had here. They have five hundred trillion sitting in this all tied to this i'm going to break this down further on the next live stream all right so you heard a little bit of uh what's going on and uh how he made mention of the uh the money you know but um we of the whole for elect we understand that you know it's it's not all about the money you know they milking the cow all right you know i see um like the lower level elite all right, those who are empowered to collect more money to keep themselves in that um, high office, all right, to be in that lower level elite. But mainly these elites, all right, like the Rothschilds, Bilderbergs, DuPont, Gettys, these uh, international bankers, the illuminated ones, the ones who the world know as the Illuminati, the 1%, all right, biblically they are the house of Edom, all right, and the Lord set them up, you know, and right now, He's, uh, you know, using them to destroy their own kingdomship. All right. And uh, with them, it's not really about money because they have all the gold and the silver.
but it's more about power and control. And what we're still going through is uh, what you call gradualism and conditioning. All right. Gradualism, gradualism, conditioning, power and control. You know, you know, these lockdowns is also um, for a number of reasons. You know, it's for you to be conditioned to the prelude. All right. You should know what the prelude is that everybody's taking. And it's going to end up being the MOTB. And it's going to be forced because half of the world being con conditioned, all right, through this gradualism, is only going to be right in order to live in society is to take the MOTB, all right, which goes into the book of Revelations 13 and 16, which we all know as the mark, all right, which is the microchip, all right, or, you know, another word as the apostles brought out, another uh, meaning to it is graven all right graven just just more evident that uh that mark in revelations 13 16 on down is talking about something incision all right a device you know which they trying to you know turn everybody into a transhuman basically learning uh basically merging man and technology all right so it's for a number of reasons it's gradualism conditioning you know, so basically the rich get rich and the poor get poor and them eliminating that middle class. So, you know, for what I want to do is just read a few scriptures that come in mind. And this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 32 and 5. The vowed person shall no more be called liberal, nor the chore said to the bountiful. For the vowed person will speak villainly and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy. And to utter error against Yahweh, to make empty the souls of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. All right, and this vile person is referred to Edom. All right, right now, these elites, all right, who run the world, is the ones who's calling the shots. Okay, uh, there was uh, plenty of reports of um, the uh, Economic Forum, United Nations. The, uh, what is it, Center Disease Control, if I'm saying that right. Many different men, spokesmen, okay, who who uh, spoke uh, in, in, in the stead of their administration, all right, to give the people information. They all said one thing, all right, the NWO. And they said that we're not, we'll be, we, will, we will not be going back into the normalcy of things in which we once knew. This is a world pandemic. It's a one in 100 year event. So you can expect that we will have transmission uh, from time to time, and that's just the way it is. We've got to accept that this is the new world order. We've got to accept that this is the new world order. This is the new world order. This is the new world order. I want to be straight with you. There will be no return to the old normal for the foreseeable future. I repeat, there will be no return to the old normal for the foreseeable future. So people assume uh, we are just going back uh, to the good old world which we had um, and everything will be normal again in how we are used to normal in the old fashion. This is, uh, let's say, fiction. It will not happen. Surveillance will need to continue. People will still need to be tested, isolated and cared for. Contacts will still need to be traced and quarantined. Communities will still need to be engaged. It is a big idea, a new world order. New world order. We can find meaning and reward by serving some higher purpose than ourselves. A shining purpose, the illumination of a thousand points of light. It's no longer a theory. What I'm about to say is fact. The secret organizations of the world power elite are no longer secret. They have planned and are now leading us into a one world communist government. This is terrorism of the most worst kind, brought on you by our own government. To lead in shaping a new world order for the 21st century. Okay, so this is the new norm. And as uh, reports here from Dabu, it says why rolling lockdowns will not end until 2023, all right? Because 
This is their gap, their timeline in which Esau is determined that he should have the world, you know, running according to his NWO. All right. And uh, it also proves the scriptures that uh, he knoweth that he have but a short time. You know, Revelations 12 and 12. Okay. And uh, don't, don't forget also when they time themselves, I think of the uh, doomsday clock, you know, the doomsday clock. So anyway, Isaiah 32 and 6, it says, For the vowed person will speak villainly, and his heart will work iniquity. All right? Because his mind is working sins. You Israelites will commit so that you can go against the true and living power, which is your power, which is Yahweh. All right? By Hashem Yahweh Shai, breaking his law, statutes, and commandments. You know? See, the scriptures talk about the accuser of our brethren. And that's Esau. All right? You know, that's why they have this campaign and they push it heavy, you know, that um that you blacks and Latinos go and get that, you know, and a lot of you are. So it says in his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy. All right. And to utter error against Yahweh to make the empty the souls of the hungry. And he will cause the drunk, the drink of the thirsty to fail, you know, so really this this uh this devil. OK, these elites. Their position is to basically eliminate the Heavenly Father, all right, out of the equation. You know, they want to utter error against the Lord. You know, they want to be able to live forever. You know, they mad because the Most High only gave us a, a short period of life. He stripped us from, you know, the, the, the living, the long living life that we used to live. You know, the uh, earth is being depleted through through sins, especially through Esau running the world, all right? You know, through all of uh, the destruction that he brought upon his place, the Most High took away the uh, precious, the precious uh, growth, you know, that we can have in this place, you know? So we're limited, you know? We don't use, as the they say in science, we don't use all of our brain. We use half of it or a little percentage of it, so they say. All right, and Esau knows, you know, the body, and he knows how powerful our bodies are and what they could be. So what he's doing is that he wants to be a god, all right? But that's not his right. You were made to be the borders of wickedness. You're doing exactly what the Heavenly Father wants you to do, all right? So everything is on course. It says, to make empty the souls of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. It says, the instruments also of the chul are evil. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. All right. So real quickly, I want to go to Book of Revelations, chapter 13. All right. And verse 16, because it's really going to boil you down to this mark. All right. The graven. OK, it says Revelations 13, 16. And he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Okay, so we all know what this word mark goes into the Greek word karagma, root word karax, which means something imprinted, imprinted, all right, um, brand. You know, something that goes in underneath the skin. And as the apostles brought out a little bit earlier, how it goes into um, that karagma, which is written two times in the scriptures. I believe it's Acts. I forgot the chapter and the verse, but um, it goes into that graven. You know, just more evident to prove that the uh, mark karagma is something graven. All right. Something that goes underneath the skin. And it's that device. All right. The same device they don't want us talking about because they might, you know, they're basically ready to campaign it. It's down. It's, it's coming down the pipe. All right. Just like they pushed um, the fear all over the mainstream media. All right. To put people in fear, to condition them the same way they're going to push this uh, graving. All right. This this mark. It says. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is no, for it is a number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six, which that goes into chi phi stigma. 
all right, which means to prick, okay, um, uh, chi, phi, stigma, which goes into prick, all right, something pricked, okay, so, um, you know, that's basically the lesson, I ain't got too much, I want to keep it short, uh, brothers, check this video out, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, these lockdowns are coming back, you know, and I, uh, I've been watching a few videos, and they've been saying around October, September, when these, uh, children starts to go back to school you know and um and things like that so hey this is bible prophecy all right these are the plagues that's that are being sent you know you know and they're not gonna uh return back to the lord void all right when you look up the word plague okay the word plague means to uh continue continue trouble all right continue trouble but uh yeah that's it you know, I was going to grab another scripture, but it is what it is. I hope, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.